Hey everyone, it's Cameron back with another haul video. Um, this is a couple of things I got from the thrift store today. I had the day off, was able to pick up a couple of nice items, and one was from another day. I went to the thrift store one piece here, but I figured I'd throw it in anyways. Didn't spend a whole lot of time, so had to pick and choose what I went over, but did find some things that I'm pretty happy with and I'll do pretty well on, so we'll just jump right in. Here's an Acquire board game. This is one of the bookshelf ones. Um, I think this one is the one that does better out of the bookshelf games. Some of them don't do as hot that are in this series. But I think this one goes for like 25 to 40. Um, I know the, most of the pieces look like they're in here. One of the tile bags is still sealed. So it gives me hope that the rest is all there and actually wasn't ever played with. But we'll have to take a look and count them. But it was 4 bucks. I can get 25, that's pretty good. If I could get 40, that'd be even better. So we'll take a look and see. If not, I'll just hold on to the set and see if I can find another one um, out there in the wild somewhere. Here's a Treasure Island mug. If you guys can really see it. Um, it was two bucks. It's pretty cool. It's a, like a little skull with a bandana thing or whatever over them. Um, these used to go for, I think, like 40 bucks during Halloween. Maybe three or four years ago. I don't know what they go for now. I haven't looked them up. Uh, or I haven't followed the Halloween trends. But usually, I saw right now, it looks like they go for 20 or so maybe. This one has a little crack in it right there. It goes all the way through up to the eye. So um, hopefully it'll end up doing better than that um, around Halloween. But mine does have a crack, so we'll see. If not, I'll just keep it because they're super cool. Especially when you fill them with some kind of a drink or something they look really cool so look out for them though and around halloween too because people usually buy this stuff for decorations or you can put party in there if they're doing a pirate party they may want to get a couple of these so pretty cool for two bucks picked up a leapfrog um alphabet here it was five bucks but it was 30 percent off uh, i know the thing works because there's a letter there and i turned it on and it started playing sounds and telling me letter I don't know if all letters are here. I didn't bother counting them. When they don't want you to open the bag there, they make a big fuss. So I picked it all up. There's actually two sets, though. There's both the lowercase and the uppercase. I think the uppercase may go with this piece. The actual unit and the lowercase go with the word. Womp one or whatever it's called. Um, this little piece, if you have this in the 26 letters. Well, this one, I think, only goes for 15 bucks shipped. But if you have the one with the small letters, it's the word womp. I think that one goes for like 25 So I already have another set of these letters and the system. I'm just missing a few letters, so I figured I'd buy the whole bag. If this piece is here for $15, i will get all my money back and a little bit of profit maybe. And then I can use the letters to hopefully fill up my other set and just hold on to the rest in case I need them going forward. So wasn't really a buy where I think I'll make a ton of profit on unless I can complete the other sets. But it's still nice to have extra letters. <laughs> Here's a Nerf, um, this goes to the long shot, that's the one that goes on to the end, usually you find them without this, um, this was 3 bucks. I think it actually was at the thrift store with the long shot, because so I had saw the long shot there the other day, and it had one of these on it, and then there was a sticker on this one, but it just seemed like this one was the one that went with it, but the long shot they wanted like 20 bucks for. This was just in there and someone had put a sticker of three bucks, so I picked it up. Figured I could easily hold on to it and wait till I get um, a piece that's missing. This little end here and attach and it'll be well worth the three bucks. So that was something else to hold on to. I'm sure if you look it up on eBay, it probably sells by itself. Picked up all these, kind of a shot in the dark. They're all Webkins charms. Um, I don't know much about Webkins, sorry I dropped some. There's like Webkin's Charms and these bookmarks. They're all sealed. They were all in this bag. There's only four different kinds in here. Um, mainly there's just three. There's like one extra one of a different variation. But I looked online and some of these sell in little lots. And individually maybe they got them for five bucks or three bucks each with free shipping. They had quite a bit in here. I wanted to buy them all. They had a dollar a piece. And there's probably 30 or 40 in here. I offered them... 15 at the thrift store and they said they'd take it all so we'll see what happens my thought is to make little sets of three the three most common ones i have which are this guy there's a hippo 
is actually another hippo too. I don't know what kind he is. This one. Maybe you put him in a lot of three and try to list them for ten bucks with free shipping and see if that would move them. Um, won't make a lot, maybe five bucks each sale. But if I can do that ten times, uh, that might you know, that's fifty bucks right there of profit. And I only paid fifteen. Um, and the bookmarks just maybe put them in a lot together for. 10 or 15 with free shipping and see if I can move them. So didn't do a whole lot of research in here, but, um, you know, we'll see what happens. 15 bucks. I know I can't lose on it, but we'll see how much I actually make. Best of all, though, um, wrestling belts. Um, World Wrestling Federation, I think, and I know there's at least one WWF, and I think there's a WWE one, too. So, or mostly WWE ones, maybe one WWF, but... Um, these are, were great, um, I've played with these before growing up, uh, they're from 2000s to 2006, I think, maybe that does make them actually WWE belts, no WWF ones, but anyway, they're still worth money, these aren't the official ones that are made with the studs and stuff in them, they're the ones with the foam, um, foam belts, and they just have the little plasticky stuff inside, but even these will still sell. I think I sold a lot of, I saw a lot of six that sold for 75 bucks plus shipping on, with bids, that was auction, so, now granted I don't, I didn't see many lots on there, so I don't know how I'll do with these six, but they were four bucks each, most of them are in pretty good shape, you know, a little wear from being used, but definitely nothing that's, I'm gonna make them not worth it to somebody, so, um, I think they were four bucks with 30% off, so, did pretty well three something a piece on them um figure i can probably get easily 75 shipped maybe more towards 100 if i wait on it even if i got 50 i would still be uh, making a good profit so these were cool um definitely look out for them if you ever find someone with the real belts the nice ones they go for 150 300 bucks but chances are someone paid up for that a long time ago they're probably not willing to let it go for cheap but these little guys I've seen them before at garage sales. I bought them before and sold them. Usually I don't get them this many at one time, but you can easily pick them up for a dollar or two. And I think individually, usually you can get 10 to 15 bucks, depending on which one it is. So should do pretty well. Hope you guys liked the video. Not a whole lot, but just figured I'd show you the couple things I got. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.